Hi folks, I'm Devok and welcome to the Artificers Guild, the home of all things Artifact. The Artifact open circuit is reaching its climax. Our first grand finals is coming with the biggest prize pool I've seen from any amateur tournament to date. This Saturday, the 8th of December, we will be hosting the grand final of the Artifact open circuit over on twitch.tv slash artifact open circuit. Link in the description and comments. The circuit will enter a more regular monthly seasons as of today, but the November season, or season zero, lasted just under a week, with close to 20 tournaments having been hosted in the duration. Why did all these players fight so many tournaments you ask? Well, they were fighting for a spot in our top 8 grand final, which has a prize pool of $375, donated by a very kind and generous sponsor, who will make his name known shortly. The action starts on twitch.tv slash artifact open circuit on Saturday 7pm GMT, 8pm CET or 1pm EST and we'll be joined by a whole host of casters and guests and I'll even be joining the fray myself to bring you some of the best games our players have to offer. Over the course of the following few hours, our players will draft decks in a classic phantom draft style and will enter a seeded single elimination bracket where they will play in best of threes to determine the victor. When all is said and done, our champion will walk away with $100. The defeated second place will have a nice $75 consolation with third and fourth place both receiving $50 and 5th through to 8th places being awarded $25 for a well fought season. But what is the Artifact Open Circuit? Well if you've made it this far through the video and you aren't entirely sure, let me tell you what it is and the story that got us this far. The Artifact Open Circuit was one of those ideas that just comes into your head for no apparent reason with no prior thought process, but once it's there you realise it's the most important and obvious thing to do ever. Without a true ranked mode in Artifact as of yet, and no progression system whatsoever, despite it being worked on, people were left wanting to know how they stacked up against the rest of the world's players. The pro scene was already established before the game was launched, so there was no way for a person unheard of to become a household name in Artifact, no matter how talented they were. So that is where the idea for the Artifact Open Circuit came from. Season 0 of the circuit saw us running as many as 6 tournaments every day, all of which offered points towards the grand leaderboard. The top 8 on said leaderboard being entered into the grand final happening this weekend. To enter these tournaments, all you had to do was click on the invite link. You didn't even need to say a word to us in advance, just join up and play. For most, the Artifact Open Circuit will be a place to practice, and to get a feel for a ranked mode in this game. But those of you that make the top 8, there is a distinct chance that they just took the first steps on their professional Artifact journey. While it has only been one week since the launch of Artifact, the story of the Artifact Open Circuit so far is a long and intriguing one. The very first tournament only included four of the eventual top eight, and at least one of them is unable to attend the finals, so tournaments have really developed over time. Our first winner was Coldstorm, a regular in our channel or Discord and a longtime supporter of the Artificers Guild. I was incredibly happy and proud to see one of our own take the first title. The favourite for the tournament, going in, Helberg, made a good run of it but bowed out in the semi-finals. And we also saw Shept and Iniaki make early appearances but drop out before they got too far. From there we ran two more tournaments in quick succession, Kyoko taking the first with Helberg again falling in the semi-finals, with Shept, Iniaki and now Miss Pizza all falling before then as well. In the following tournament, the favourite for the circuit crown finally took his first win. Helberg beat Miss Pizza in the finals to take home the majority of the points up for grabs. At this point, we had invited over a hundred different participants already, and the AOC scene was starting to explode. The next two tournaments saw new rising stars take the title. Doeypok defeating Iniaki in the final of the first, only to be defeated himself by Shet in the very next final. The top eight now had a definitive leading pack. Helberg, Miss Pizza, Doeypok, Shet, Iniaki, Coldstorm, and Kyoko. There was one more space among them, and now close to 200 people fighting for it. The one who eventually took that space had actually already participated in a number of the tournaments, falling flat in the early stages of the first few, then picking up some solid points later on, ZZTel became the persona of practice makes perfect, and in his sixth tournament in half as many days, ZZTel finally took a tournament win of his own, followed quickly by another, and then a 5-1 finish in a Swiss tournament, firing him right up among our leading pack to complete the top 8. However, it is difficult to accommodate time and date for everyone at this late notice for a top 8 tournament, so at the very least we will be seeing Helberg unable to attend, meaning there is still a chance for those names that lie just outside the top 8, each with tournament wins of their own, to come and compete. These are Lord Logberg, Denzu, and Final Brass, just to name a few. Our players are not only the ones to have made a splash though. Just two days into the circuit we announced our So You Think You Can Cast initiative. This invited anyone, absolutely anyone, that wanted to get some experience casting Artifact to come and try their hand at it. With a chance to stream on our official channel, or at least be hosted by it, the tournament became a fantastic way to get your feet in the casting world, 
As a result, we now have a whole host of fantastic Artifact casters ready to bring you next season's action, as well as the Grand Finals. So be sure to tune in on Saturday at 7pm GMT, 8pm CET, or 1pm EST to see who will be crowned the first champion of the Artifact Open Circuit. But what if you missed out on the action? Maybe you think you have a decent chance of competing for $375, but you simply missed your chance to play. Well, Season 1, or the December season, of the Artifact Open Circuit begins today. The first tournament is already fully booked, but there are plenty more to be played before the next Grand Final at the end of this month. With a new season, and transitioning from Season 0 into a regular season, we are bringing with it a huge number of upgrades to the format. Games will now be on a more regular basis, with us now having many admins as opposed to just myself and my mod 4GG, who ran 11 tournaments this season might I add, so big thanks to him. We are now able to commit to times and days of the week much further in advance than we were able to in Season 0, so head over to our Discord to start signing up for the tournaments when you know you can attend. We're also moving the leaderboard away from an Excel spreadsheet that just sits on my computer, and we instead have a new bot in our Discord server that manages the scores for us. This does mean that as of Season 1, you will need to be in our Discord to play in the circuit. Sorry, I know this is a pain, and as soon as we have an API for Artifact Tournaments, we can open this up again, but it's the best way for us to move into a more professional scoring system. Also, you'll need to make sure your nickname in our server matches that of your nickname in-game. You can edit either, just make sure that they match up, else we won't be able to accredit scores to you. The link to our Discord server can be found in the description, just head over to the AOC section, and I look forward to meeting some of you during Season 1. The Artifact Open Circuit is here to call you towards your path to pro. Will you answer?